Don't you just love it when you meet someone that you haven't seen in a while and they're like, oh my God, girl, have you lost weight? In my mind, I'm like, girl, no, I haven't lost a pound. But this outfit though, it does make me look snatched. Well, you're in luck because in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you style secrets, tips and tricks to basically make yourself look slimmer without losing a pound. Make sure to stick around for that one tried and tested tip that has the ability to always make you look snatched. Cause who doesn't want to look snatched? Snatched all 2020. Snatched all 2020, no gym membership needed. <laughs> So I figured the easiest way to show you how I incorporate these tips and tricks is to start off with an outfit and, and show you how changing your choices can really help to create a leaner, sleeker silhouette. So we're starting off here with a very simple look. I have a button down shirt with like puff sleeves and some 90s style distressed jeans. And then for shoes, I went with a pair of white converses. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with any of the pieces I have on. These are one of my favorite pairs of jeans. That's a shirt that I love wearing because the sleeves make a huge statement. You know, you can't ever go wrong with a pair of converse, but pairing them together the way I have just doesn't do anything to kind of accentuate my assets. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to actually tuck this shirt in. Now I said in my easy styling tips video that you have to master your tuck. The right tuck for you really depends on your shape, what you're wearing, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. I talked more about that in that video. As you can see, just that simple step of tucking in this shirt has helped to kind of define my waist and you know, has taken some of the bulk off my midsection. Now, if you like, you can totally wear this outfit just like it is. I'm sure at some point I'd wear something like this. I feel like we can do a little bit more to like streamline the silhouette and make it a little bit sleeker. And so I'm gonna go ahead and swap my jeans. See, now I've swapped my sort of light washed you know, 90 style jeans for a pair of darker jeans, okay? If you carry weight, especially around your hips and your legs, dark jeans are your friend. No, you do not have to only wear dark jeans, but having a couple pairs of dark jeans, you know, like this is a, this is a black, but it's kind of faded to almost like a gray black. You know, having gray black jeans, like really dark indigo, pairs of jeans, these colors will really help to elongate the leg. So what do you think so far? Have we managed to create a slimmer or sleeker silhouette? Now, since we're trying to elongate, AKA slenderize, AKA, you know, make the entire figure a little bit more sleek and a little bit more slim, um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to swap that white top for a black top. See, like instantly, you know, we've created a long vertical line that is so much more slimmer. So instead of my white, remember white makes things look wider, um, pair of shoes, I'm going to swap them out for a dark pair of shoes or for a nude pair of shoes. You can see just swapping out, you know, the clunky, chunky white sneaker for something a little bit for something pointed toe, for something more skin toned. That instant bit of height really helps to, you know, stretch out that vertical line that we're trying to create, which creates, in my opinion, a sleeker silhouette. So how are we doing so far? Do you think we got it? Do you think we've been able to create the sleeker, slimmer silhouette we were going for? Or would you go for a more monochrome look? Is there anything you would change? Would you keep on the light colored jeans? Or would you have done something different? Keep on watching for that style secret that really has helped me to look the most snatched in my looks. So for this next look, I just have on a striped shirt, some joggers, 
my white sneakers again. <laughs> I, trust me, I love these sneakers, but they're great for illustrating the point we're trying to make. So the first thing I would do to this outfit would be to tuck in my shirt. Now, this is probably a look that I could wear um, traveling on a road trip, maybe to even like run errands on the weekend. I would tuck in my shirt. I'm sure you're like tuck in shirt into joggers. You don't have to do a full tuck. You can just do a half tuck, a quarter tuck, but just doing that really helps to give some definition to your body. The next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna swap our sneakers. So we're gonna go from white converses to black converses. Remember, monochrome always looks chic and sleek. Now, is the outfit perfect as it is or would you change something else? Comment down below. I'll wait. Okay, so I went ahead and decided to go ahead and just change the pants altogether because I just felt like the joggers and there's a time and place for joggers as well, but I felt like they weren't doing anything for the bottom half of my body. And also they weren't really helping me to accentuate the areas that I wanted to accentuate. So we swapped to these pants. Now these are some high-waisted, long-lined, wide leg pants. So in the perfect world, these pants would be all black to really you know, create that sleek, long vertical line that we like to create. But, but I feel like, you know, the stripes and the print, you know, the yellow and black print kind of work together in kind of a quirky type of way. If your style is a little bit more eclectic or you just like print, then of course this look would be right up your alley. Fortunately, I don't have a pair of black, really long line, um, wide leg pants, I'm a taller girl, so it's always a struggle. But um, I feel like you can still get the essence that we're trying to create here, which is something that's tall and that's long line. Now, you know, just as is, you could probably throw on a crossbody and leave the house. But I feel like we can still tweak this look a little to create an even sleeker silhouette. So I went ahead and swapped the top. Yes, I went for a black turtleneck long sleeve. This really helps to slim out the top half because remember vertical, we're always trying to create a vertical line and the stripe top as cute as it was, it was horizontal stripes, which kind of made the top half look a little bit bigger. But by swapping that top for a black top, you know, it really helps to, you know, snatch that waist in a little bit. So do you think we're done with this outfit? Like, are we good? Can we made this outfit as sleek could possibly make it? Comment below. I don't think so. I think there's one more thing we need to change. What do you think that is? So the biggest takeaway, like the one thing that you always have to think of when you're trying to create a slimmer, sleeker silhouette is lengthen, elongate. So, for this next look, this is like the perfect sort of like running around on the weekend type of look. But it doesn't necessarily make me look as snatched as I possibly could. First thing is the jacket, okay? The length of it kind of cuts around my hips and my hips are at the widest point of my body. So that automatically draws the eyes outwards, which makes me look a little bit wider. So the first thing we're gonna take off is the jacket. The next thing we're gonna do, you guys should already know what it is. We're gonna do a tuck. We're gonna bring back the waist, okay? <laughs> now, we can stop here. Should we stop here? Comment below. If creating a vertical line is the goal, then we can go ahead and swap the shirt. Now, the next thing we wanna change is the jacket, right? Because we had a jacket on at the beginning. So, for jackets, you could do we could go long line look or we could go cropped. Wearing a cropped jacket is kind of like tucking your t-shirt, right? What it does, it helps to make your bottom half or your legs seem a little bit longer, which helps to create a slimmer silhouette. So what's left? Shoes. Based on what we've talked about so far, you're probably thinking we should probably swap the shoes for something nude or something black. Um, and so let's go ahead and do that. 
But I felt like the, the look was a little bit boring. Okay, so I decided to go back to the leopard. If rules are meant to be broken. Sometimes, you know, I look wider for the sake of fashion. <laughs> and that's okay. But for the most part, since from the head to basically the ankle, you've managed to really streamline the look, you can have a little bit of fun with your shoes. So, what do you think? Would you go with the black shoes or would you keep the fun shoes? Comment below. All right, so I have one more bonus tip for you guys. And I kind of talked about this in the um, how to look better video in 2020. And that is undergarments. You will be surprised the difference proper fitting undergarments make. And I actually linked to my favorite bras and actually the only place I kind of get underwear from these days in that video. So I will link that video for you guys down below. But having the proper undergarments really will help to create a slimmer and sleeker silhouette. Now, if you don't believe me, just picture Medea, her juggernauts, Boobies are always just going left and right and all over the place. And that just help, makes, her, makes her look so much more wider. Just imagine how much snatched, okay, Medea would look if she had a proper fitting bra that kept the girls up sitting right. You would be surprised the impact having pro a proper fitting bra, you know, even proper fitting underwear, you know, can make, okay? Not necessarily shapewear, but just something that has a little bit of a firming action to it can really make a difference in helping your clothes lay better, fit better, and helping to create a sleeker silhouette. Let's recap. Remember, the key to nailing any look is balance. You wanna balance your top to your bottom. Now, if you happen to be part of the very small select group of women who have an hourglass shape, then you don't have to do too much trickery, okay? However, if you're one of the rest of us, you really have to learn those tips and tricks as to how to balance out your proportions. So you wanna stay away for in, from anything that makes you look wider, any horizontal stripes, anything like that, in places where you want to look slimmer. Always be thinking about how can I create a vertical line? How can I cause the eye to go up and down instead of left and right. If you're serious about developing, improving, and loving up your style in 2020, all you have to do is subscribe now. Then make sure to check out this video where I share easy styling tips to help you elevate your look. If you're looking for more outfit ideas and or fashion and lifestyle inspo, then make sure to check out my blog. It's linked down below.